Alright, here we are with more Mega Man Maker, and we're playing Sword Man's Stage by Oscar there. Yeah, we have some nice little light posts here, or lamp posts, uh, you know. The guy never played Mega Man 8, so I'm not sure exactly how Sword Man's Stage looked like, or, or what it looked like, but yeah. Hmm, so... It looks like we're gonna have to find buttons to get these guys to come down here. That's what it looks like. And yeah, we have some teleporters here. So yeah, okay. I see. Pretty interesting. And there was something jumping up there. <laughs> that looked kind of creepy. Mm hmm. Well, I'm just gonna wait her. Or maybe I can't. Maybe they are <laughs> gonna be assholes about it. There you go. Maybe. Well, actually, I was going to try and that <laughs> try and use that ladder, but I think you just die if you go down there. <laughs> yeah, probably best to not even go there I'm thinking and holy crap there are so many teleporters oh okay 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 so yeah I guess Oscar doesn't know how to do the you know the the teleporter glitch there so that you can remove the one from the other side there so that's why there are the doubles there whoops Ooh, I kind of want that Nope. I think this bounce ball strategy is a little bit faster than the tornado hole there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy now. There you go. But yeah, this is a lot of fun to jump around with this weapon here. Uh, yeah, making pretty quick work of this stage so far. Although, of course, there might be more to it, you know. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my god, yeah, these stalkers did so much damage. Gotta be a little bit more careful with them. <gasps> Whoops. Whoa, 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 okay. I wanted to try and bounce up on it, but yeah, I failed that. <laughs> As you clearly saw. Yeah, this stage has not been too bad, you know. Pretty easy all around. Hmm, and this here looks interesting, like visualize with the Yeah. This <laughs> with the whole What are these tiles even called? Bony tiles and the earth here, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Whoa. No, do I not I'm not sure if I want to push this. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, we gotta go back and push the green one again. Ooh. I got a little bit lucky there, I gotta admit. Okay, so I guess now we... Do we reset? Oh, I'm not sure. This is a little bit confusing, I gotta admit. Hmm, like, is that right or is that wrong? I'm not sure. This room out here might be all scrambled up now. Yeah. Orange, green, orange, green, blue, red. Okay, we gotta go back in there. Orange, green. Okay, so the only button out there was, yeah, the blue one. Okay, he's missing. Oh crap, yeah. This is gonna be tricky, I gotta admit. Did this reset all the ones outside too? Oh man, <laughs> I'm lost. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I need to hit the orange and the red one. Orange and the red one. 
Okay. The orange and the red one. Whoops! <laughs> that was not in the script. Huh? Oh, look all the and all this. Yeah, they reset. Hmm. You know what? Since they all reset, I might as well just do this one first and like try and get it right and then pick another path or yeah. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay. Push this buttons. Okay. Oh, oh my. Ah! <laughs> oh well. But <laughs> Okay. There we go. Now it should be right. And now when I go outside, I should only have to push the blue one. And maybe, yeah. Okay, so really you only need that bottom right one then. You don't need the other ones. Okay. Oh yeah, that that is definitely the easiest way to do it then. Just do the bottom right, don't don't do the others. <laughs> I wonder if it was like that in the original game too there. Obviously, I don't know, I never never played it. On this series the Mega Man Firebuster, so we can't shoot it while we're standing on the dust blocks there. They will just disappear. So I gotta make sure we jump when we shoot. <laughs> and poor poor bubble man, he can't he can't hurt me. He probably can at a specific height there. Like yeah there, he finally got a shot off. But yeah, he's not gonna get in too many hits. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty menacing stage, visual wise. Ooh, oh my god, jeez. Hmm. Oh no, I'm back here again. Okay, I'm just cut, cutting back though. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. Just stand on the freaking tip there. Holy crap, and there you could totally be cr crush, the crush there. get the... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with this here. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? There was no way I'd know I had to land there. Oh yo yo. Oh Whoa, look at that prism down there, it's passing out. <laughs> and those guys were not there before. Yeah, let's just jump down here now. Screw that. Or maybe you could have seen through the wall down there in the previous segment that you'd had to land there. That might have been the case, actually. And I'm just stupid, you know? But yeah, either way, it doesn't really matter if I die a few times here and there. This uh, stage has plenty of checkpoints, so I'm not too worried about it. And this is pretty crazy. <laughs> what? What is happening? Are they writing letters or something? All the things there? Hmm. The okay, Flame Man once again, like. 
not too dangerous for a robot master. But yeah, I'm playing pretty sloppy right now, so... <laughs> oh well, I still could beat him, even though I took all those hits. Oh, oh. Very nice, very nice. So, we beat the Swordman stage there. The first segment was probably most the most interesting. Um, I kind of wish we had seen more of those, um, you know, bottom combination codes, but a little bit harder up ahead. Um, it's a shame that it ended so quickly there, but yeah, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting all around, so. Yeah, I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching, <laughs> and have a nice day.